Okay, next you've got to take a uh, standard two liter soda bottle and you'll take the label off, make sure it's all rinsed out and what you have to do is you need to cut a section of this and what you'll have is if you look right here you'll see this nice little uh, seal right there uh, cut it right along that seal take a sharp exacto type knife and cut a little bit right on it then you can take your regular pair of scissors and stick it in there and cut it right along that line so where you make a, a smooth bottom And that's going to be the first part of your vessel. Now what we need to do now is we need to curl this and we'll show you how to do the curling next. Okay, here's the next thing. You take a small pan and you place it on your stove and what you have to turn on your heat and you want to put your heat on high and what you're going to do is you want to let that thing warm up until the water just starts to bead <coughs> on it. And it's very, very important that you don't get it too hot. You want it to where it will just start to bounce around. <coughs> and so we put it on high and get it nice and hot. Now you want to use a pan that you don't mind if it gets ruined because uh, you could ruin it and your wife would kill you for it. So make sure you don't use one of her good pans. You notice this one's got all like little scratches all on it and everything. And so you want to make sure that uh, that you don't use one of her good pans. You'll never be allowed to do rockets again. <laughs> As you notice it can, it's starting to bubble a little bit. And you want it's almost ready. And a little bit hotter. You got to you got to get to where the the water will bounce around when it goes on there. Almost there. A little bit more. Almost. That should be good enough. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your bottle, leave your cap on it because that will help you hold it. And what you want to do is place it right on top and it will start to curl. And you don't want to leave it on there too long. And you want to make sure you want to make sure it kind of does it level. And so you'll end up with a, a curl on the end of it like that. Turn your pan off now, and now you're ready for the next step. Okay, for this, this next part, what you need to do is take some paper, and you want to line it up properly. Line paper makes it nice because you got the lines themselves that you can test it with. And then take some tape, long strip of it, and tape the two pieces <coughs> of paper together. This gives you a nice edge to work with on the next part of the bottle. What you want to do is right where the bottle starts making the curve, you want to place your paper across there. And you can take and line up your paper and when you line up your paper it will give you a nice straight edge on your rocket body. Just like that. Now you want to take your pen you want to mark it. Got to get me a different pen. Okay, take your uh, permanent marker and you want to mark your bottle right at the top edge of the paper. All the way around.
So when you take the bottle off, you got this nice line right there that you can use to cut. Paper off. Take your little sharp edge, cut a little bit above the line, and take your scissors and do just like you did on the bottom and cut along your line. So now you got this nice little piece here with the curl on the one edge. Now 